Now we have this treasure in clay jars so that this extraordinary power may be from God and not from us. We are afflicted in every way, but not crushed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. We are persecuted, but not abandoned. We are struck down, but not destroyed, always carrying the death of Jesus in our body so that the life of Jesus may also be displayed in our body. For we who live are always being given over to death for Jesus' sake, so that Jesus' life may also be displayed in our mortal flesh. So then death is at work in us, but life in you. Since then, we have the same spirit of faith in keeping what is written, I believe, therefore I spoke. We also believe and therefore speak. For we know that the one who raised the Lord Jesus will also raise us with Jesus and present us to you. Indeed, everything is for your benefit, so that as grace extends through more and more people, it may cause thanksgiving and increase to the glory of God. Therefore, we do not give up, even though our outer person is being destroyed and our inner person our inner person is being renewed day by day. For our momentary light affliction is producing for us an absolutely incomparable eternal weight of glory. So we do not focus on what is seen, but on what is unseen. For what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal.